Whether I go, he know, and the way he know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know not whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming unto me but the Father. If it had not been, I would have told you. I come again and receive you unto myself. Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house, I'm in mansions. If it was not so, I would have told you. I go and prepare a place for you. I will come again and receive you unto myself. That way I am, there he may be also. And whether I go, he know. And the way, he know. Thou art the truth and the life. Thomas said unto him, Lord, ye know whether thou art going. And how can we know the way? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. If ye have, would have known me, ye should have known my Father and him. And hence ye know him and have seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficient be. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me? Philip said, He has seen me, also have seen the Father. How sayest thou show us the Father? Let not your heart be troubled. Ye believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. And if it was not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and receive you unto myself. And where I am, there he may be also. And whether I go, ye know, and the way ye know. Thomas said unto him, Lord, we know that whether thou goest, and how can we know the way? Jesus said, Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. And if ye have known me, ye should have known my Father also. And from his forth ye know him and had seen him. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it sufficeth us. Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou knowest me? Philip said, Hast thou seen me, and have seen the Father? How sayest thou then, show us the Father? Believeth thou not that I am in the Father? And the Father in me. The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of, but the Father that dwelleth in me doeth the works. Believe me that I am in the Father, and the Father in me. Or else, believe me, 
for the very work said. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, works that I do, shall he do also. Greater works than these shall he do. Because I go to my Father, and wheresoever he shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And if he asks anything in my name, I will do it. If you believe me, believe also in me. And I pray that the Father shall give you another comfort that he may guide you forever and ever. And even the spirit of truth the world cannot see because it's seen him. Not he will know him, but he know him for he dwell with you. And it shall be in you.
Jesus said unto her, Thy brother shall rise again. Martha said unto him, I know that he shall rise again in the resurrection at the last day. Jesus said unto her, I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in him shall never die. Believest thou this? May God have this. Praise the Lord. 
Sometimes we just got to be real about the situation. And all of us, it's going to go the same way. So what do you say? What comfort do you really give someone that has lost their love? And you know, when you're pondering, I think about Sister Bull, she was, as the, the minister said, she was very outgoing. There was nothing in it. I used to hear my grandma say, get no grad for one hundred. Because if she could move, she was going to right. move. But I thank God for the opportunity to have known Dr. Boyd. Yes. I yes. give her yes. honor. Dr. Boyd. Yes. yes. And I thank God. Yes. 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 To be absent from the spot is to be present with the Lord. Yes. So I believe today. With the life that I saw in her. Yes, yes. yes. See, when we stop looking at other people yes, right. and stop trying to judge people, yes, right. maybe we can grow. But Dr. Buller has always encouraged me. Yes. Even when I first met her, and I believe that God lived in her temple. Yes. So I'm not coming today just to pray for her, because she can't get nothing else. <laughs> her life has ended. Yes. But she left a legacy back here to the family. Mm -hmm. And it's up to you to follow, take that legacy on. Yes. So as we think about this today, I know it's on her. I know you heard. Death come. And yet the Bible said, all rejoice at the going out. Mm -hmm. But thank let's be real. Sometimes that's not always easy. Yes. But just know today, we got a God that will comfort us. Yes. He's our comfort keeper in the midnight hour. When you're lying there and you're tossing and turning, don't have anybody else to turn to. But I'm afraid, but let me tell y'all this, family. When all of the hoopla has settled down, you're going to need somebody. Yeah. You're going to need somebody. The telephone going to stop ringing after a while. Yeah. All the meals going to stop coming in the house after a while. Yeah. After everybody who stopped after a while saying, hey, sister, how you doing? How you feeling today? That's going to stop. To deal with that issue by yourself. So when it comes to that, you're going to need God on your side. You're going to need that rock to stand upon. Been there, done that, got the t shirt, so I know what I'm doing. It hurts. Yes, you're human, but it still hurts. So let us pray. Let's go to God together and ask God. We need His strength on this day. Father, in your son Jesus' name, yes. that only name that opened up the gate so we can get to you, we got to come through Jesus' name. Yes. So Father, we come in the name of your son Jesus the Christ. Yes. We come in the name and we're asking you now, God, to comfort this family. Yes. Help them to know, Father, that there's nothing too hard for you. Help them to also know, God, that this is not a mistake. Yes. Doctor had done what you put her on this earth to do. Yes. And now you called her back to yourself. Yes. Father, we thank you now that when all of this is over, be with this family. Lead and guide them. Yes. Help them, Father, to remember the good times. Help them to hold it in their heart. They may not be able to hear her voice or see her face. But Father, we still have our minds to remember. Help us to think on the good things God that she's done in this earth. Help us, God, to look at, go back in our homes and in our different churches and look at the many things that this great woman of God has set in place and smile. Father, help us to smile today. Help us to have joy in our hearts in the midst of all of the pain coming in, Father. Yes. And guide us. 
Hold thy hand, Lord. Jesus. When everybody else turned it on loose, hold thy hand, God. Yeah. Don't let us go. Father, we need you today. Yes, yes. We need you to be our shield. We need you to be our bucket. Oh, God, we cry out today. Help us, God. Yes, yes. In the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus. We don't deny God. We need you, God. Help us, God, to be real. Too many people pretend, but help us to be real today. Yes. Pain hurts. Pain is real. But we know you are real in all of us. And you can lead us. You can guide us. You will comfort us, God, in the name of Jesus. Help us to let you drive down the road. Help us to hear her voice in our mind. Father, and Lord, because, Lord, she brought joy. She brought laughter in the name of Jesus. And we thank you, God. Cover this family. Let your angels now wrap their arms and wings around them. Keep all hurt, harm, and danger from them. As they walk this journey called death. And we know it can be asked that are time, a season for all things. And it mentioned a time to die. So this is that time now. But be with us and God. Hold us and we will forever give thy name all the praise. In Jesus' master's name. Amen.
Would you just celebrate the stand and all the ministers in this house? Yeah, yeah. 
locally and abroad. Mm -hmm. The one thing I did not get to experience with her was their visit to Pilgrim. My God. Yeah. She talked about Pilgrim yeah. so much. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
So I tried to feed her. She said, you take some of that now. You're going to leave me alone. <laughs> I said, I'm good. I come here to encourage you and to help you. So I, she said, well, I tell you what, I eat a little bit. So I gave her a few mouths and she said to me, look back there, I'm going to tell you one more thing. Get out of here. <laughs> or leave me alone. But I was going to give her her flowers. I gave her her flowers while she was living. But you know, I'm a person to believe that I want my flowers. <laughs> What I'm living, what I'm living. Because all them good things they talk about me when I'm gone, they don't mean nothing. But when I'm living, yes. that you can give me my flower. I tell my children that love is the action word. That you have to demonstrate love. Not that now stuff. But anybody can tell you that, hey, love. And all they believe in going in the freezer and eating all the chicken and, and feeding the community and clothing the naked, it means nothing. If you, you're not born again. And I love her because you know, she was genuine. Yes. She told you the truth. Yes. And I remember my pastor now, Pastor Mary Shell, she, she really stood with the ministry. And she stood with our new pastor. Uh, Doctor and Cher, she was still in the ministry as long as she could go, she was there. And I thank God for, you know, sometimes you thank God for people that inspire your life. Yes. You know, that they encourage you along the way. And everybody needs that encouragement yes. along the way. Yes. You know, sometimes I always tell the people, don't nobody come along and pat you on the back and tell you it's going to be all right. You have to encourage yourself. Yes. And say, self, be encouraged. Yes. It's going to be all right. Now, I'm telling you, I'm not much of a dancing person. But every now and then, I feel like cutting a step. And my son, the third fourth song, that they declare, that I would bless the Lord.
because you'll find it's kinder heart. Don't you fall now, for it's a still going, honey. It's a still climbing, and life for me ain't been no crystal stair. All right, man. Amen. Uh, I said, pray to the Lord, everybody. Pray. Thank you. 
conservative minister, prayer warrior, and supporter in the kingdom of God. She celebrates her life with this giant, the tiny one, who blessed our lives. She was not only a friend, but family to Apostle Sandra Taylor in the House of Prayer Worship, Praise, I'm sorry, the House of Prayer, Praise, and Worship International Ministry. Your days among us were brief, and our grief at your loss is never ending. We draw comfort from the knowledge that you have found a safe refuge in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And in our hearts, when no darkness or pain can now touch you. Whereas Dr. Mae Muller does not diminish the profound benediction of a life lived in such a body service, nor our admiration and profound affection. And whereas Dr. Minnie Buller faithfully attended God's most urgent and a mission to follow in the footsteps of his righteous and care for the least among us as if they were the dearest. And whereas Dr. Minnie Buller was the active member of the Open Door Ministry of Faith. This is going to go to the family so y'all can get to read it up. Praise the Lord.
Philippians 3 and 14. Right. 3 and 13 to 3 and 14. Give me about eight and a half minutes if you want. <laughs> Brother, I count not myself yes. to have apprehended. Right. But this right. one thing I do, forgetting those things, forgetting those things, forgetting those things which are behind, and reaching forth unto those things which are before. I press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of God in Christ Jesus. Father, now move suit yourself. Bless these thou your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 I just want to use for a topic for just the next couple of minutes. Amen. I graduated. I'm pressing on. Yes, I graduated, Mr. Dino. I'm pressing on. Amen. By now we know that Dr. Minnie is in the class, the graduating class of 2000. And 23. Amen. The last time I checked, I believe she had turned her tax. She had turned her tax. Are there any tax returners in the house? Yes. Is there anybody that can say I'm still pressing on? Yes, I'm still, I'm still pressing on. In other words, I am yet in progress. I have not reached the mark or reached the plateau or neither have I reached my zenith, so therefore I'm pressing on. Pray with me for a little while because we know that the prayers of the righteous, amen, is what pushes the word. Paul lets us know, he lets us know, he says, I press towards that mark. Yes, that mark, pressing on and pushing forward. In other words, Paul is saying, I am yet pursuing because why? I got God in my vision. He said, I am yet pursuing because I am still fragile. Yeah. Paul said, not only am I still fragile, but I'm still going through this thing called life. Yeah. And while I'm going through this thing called life, I'm still dealing with the cosmos of the fragility of life. So Paul, he lets us know that I need to not stay stagnant. He lets us know neither do I need to sit on the couch of ease or be connected to the seat of do nothing. Paul simply, he declared out of the sleeve of the unknown and stepped barefooted out of the cleanliness. He said, I'll press on. Yes, sir. Paul said, I'm sitting here and I'll press on. I know Dr. Minnie, she is in the delecta stage. And then, but I'm here to let you know that she is still part of that class of 2023. I just stopped by to let you know that I graduated. And if I had a little bit more time, I'll tell you a couple of stories, but time does not allow me to do that. So, well, Dr. Minnie, amen, she graduated. Well, and she knew, my brothers and sisters, she knew that it was time for a change. And we must understand that change, it begins in the mind. That's why the Bible says for us to let this mind be in you, which is also in Christ Jesus. Why? Because it starts in the mind. One scientist said that the mind is like a parachute. When it opened, you simply want it to work. Yeah. Yes, and she knew, uh, she knew that this mind, amen, must be in us, which is also in Christ Jesus. Yeah. Amen, I told you already that she graduated. Uh, amen, Calvin Ronald Frank, uh, she graduated. Uh, amen, and she pressed on. Uh, Tiffany, Barbara, Elaine, Rosa, and Trinette. Uh, she was a presser. She was a praiser. She was a worshiper. She was, amen, on the time frame and say, Lord, whatever you do, Lord, I'll be satisfied. Whatever you see, God, I'll be content. 
And that's how our mind needs to be. Uh, whatever you see, Lord, it's going to be all right. Uh, and God, whatever you do, it's going to be okay. Uh, and however you do, Lord, whatever you do, uh, don't do it without me. Uh, and that's where we are today. Uh, Lord, whatever you go, uh, I want to know. Uh, that's why John said, Lord, show me the way. Uh, he said, Lord, you are the way. Uh, the truth and the light. I'm so glad that we still got God on our side. I said, I'm so glad we got heaven still in our view. I'm so glad that God, he still come. And beside him, Maggie is no other. We gotta realize, family, that I know grandma's has transcended. I know mama has transcended. But you gotta realize that God is our everything. We gotta realize that you ought to know that she believed in God. Yeah. She believed in the Anos Prometh. Yeah. She believed that God did a good and perfect work yeah. and it need not be repeated. Yeah. She knew that God was on top of his day. Yeah. She knew that God could do anything with anybody. Yeah. She knew that God could do anything with anybody. Yeah. Anybody, anywhere. Yeah. That's what I liked about Minnie Bullock. Huh? a praiser. She was a dancer. She was a woman of God. She didn't mind throwing up a dancer. She didn't mind saying, Lord, whatever you do, Lord, I need you to do it right now. Because you've been so good. And you've been so kind. You've been better to us than you've been to myself. You kept the family together. Round and counted. Rosie and Seneca. You kept Macclesfield connected with Rocky. Those of you who plan to travel with us to the Gardens of Gethsemane, 
We ask that you turn your headlights on, your emergency flashes on, that you will gain the courtesy and the respect of the oncoming traffic. Once we exit the building, we ask that you would please go straight to your vehicles that we'll make it to the cemetery in a timely manner. At this time, we have the ministers. And can we have everybody please stand except for the families? Can I get five ladies to serve as flower ladies and six gentlemen to serve as pall bearers, please? Okay, here we go.